The phrase, don't be evil, used to be written on all of the Google whiteboards as a reminder to all of its employees to not engage in any sort of unethical practices. Four former Google software engineers are now suing the company claiming that don't be evil was more than just a company motto, but was in fact a contractual obligation all Google employees had the duty to follow. Because part of the onboarding process for new hires included signing a contract agreeing to follow Google's code of conduct, which states, the Google code of conduct is one of the ways we put don't be evil into practice. It's built around the recognition that everything we do in connection with our work at Google will be and should be measured against the highest possible standards of ethical business conduct. If you have a question or ever think that one of your fellow Googlers or the company as a whole may be falling short on our commitment, don't be silent. The last sentence is what the lawsuit centers around. The four former Google software engineers were fired in November 2019 after publicly circulating a petition for Google to not work with the US Customs and Border Protection after it came to light that the CBP was seeking a massive cloud computing contract. A contract that, if granted, would, in the words of the petition, streamline CBP's infrastructure facilitating its human rights abuses. The abuses in question included the caging of children, separation of children from families, and perpetuating the negligence which has led to the deaths of at least seven children. But it isn't just the Customs and Border Protection who's at fault here. Other federal agencies like the Immigration and Customs Enforcement and the Office of Refugee and Resettlement are all equally complicit in the migrant crisis. All of the aforementioned government agencies claim that they're trying their hardest to get migrants processed through the system as fast as possible, but that there are too many migrants coming into the country, overwhelming its operations, to the point where the average child is spending 100 something hours in the CBP's detention centers despite the fact that they are legally only allowed to be held there for up to 72 hours. According to the CBP, part of this controversial cloud computing contract is to help streamline the intake process so the migrants can get through the system quicker. The four former Google employees filed a lawsuit against Google, claiming that they were unjustly fired. After all, a stipulation of the contract they signed when they were onboarded into the company required them to call out conduct that they deemed to be unethical. Google, however, claims that the employees weren't fired for speaking out, but were instead fired for violating data security practices. In this case, the data security violation was the discovery that the CBP had been given a free trial of Google's new cloud platform, Anthos. All four former employees deny this claim, as does the National Labor Relations Board, which filed a complaint against Google earlier this year, accusing them of violating federal labor law. A separate trial for this alleged labor violation began in August and is still ongoing. This labor violation trial isn't to be confused with this new lawsuit. The August lawsuit is just whether or not the firing of the employees was justified. This newly filed lawsuit is whether or not Google broke its end of the contract within the code of conduct that all new employees were required to sign. All that remains now is for a jury to decide whether Google, working with the Customs and Border Patrol, counts as doing evil. Interestingly enough, Google removed the don't be evil clause from its code of conduct in 2018, possibly because it realized how much harder it is to earn money ethically. But they re-added the don't be evil back into the Code of Conduct in 2020, less than a year after the termination of its four software engineer activists.